Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Zavi Lash, and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold QSD. So, if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So, let's get started. So, my dear friends, this is the hourly chart of gold in front of us, and we can see that gold is trading in a range right now. Market was extremely bullish. Market made a high of 2432. Then we saw a crazy downside. Of almost thousand pips in just four to five hours and now we can see that goal is sideways so if you're a day trader then you can consider this market to be a choppy market and if you're a positional trader you can be on the trade for a couple of weeks to a couple of months then this market is still very much bullish because for a trend reversal okay we need structural change in the market and we don't have the structural change as of now and if we try to um, understand the market sentiment or if we go through the market sentiment, we can see the market sentiment is also more or less bullish. You can see uh, gold slips on hawkish fed, gold fell below 2380 per ounce on Thursday, pulling back from record highs as the hawkish tone from Federal Reserve uh, officials slightly put pressure on the metal, slightly put pressure, okay, not a trend reversal. Then you can see gold gains as metal is tension lift safe heaven appeal. Gold prices climb on Thursday as concerns about the Middle East war extending to other regions boosted demand for the safe heaven metal. So the news is also confusing. <laughs> so we can treat the market to be a choppy market and it's better, okay, it's better to stick to the reliable levels and trade from level to level as long as market is bullish again completely or market shows a trend reversal so let's get started the big levels that we have been discussing for the last few days are still very much valid like double two six two two three zero zero but the problem is that market is um around two three eight three two eight zero zero so two no. <laughs> 23280 and the levels like 2300-2262 are far away from the current market price. For example, you can see the line at the bottom. Okay, let me change the color to red. Okay, you can see the red line or the deep pink line at the bottom is far away from the current market price. And if you have a little bit of experience, then you can easily say that in this present condition, chances of market coming to the line at the bottom are very, very less. Okay, so it's better to focus on the uh, immediate levels. But my dear friends, you should keep in mind that the range of goal is still the same. 23002 to 2400. This is the range of goal at present. During the day or especially during the US session also, if market falls, I think 2300 is the level where market will be um, able to provide some support the buyers around 2300 will be okay lifting the market up so we have a good amount of buyers around 2300 the level is still very much present and you can see below 2300 we have double 290 but again these levels are far away so uh, let's not waste time discussing about these levels so we have another support okay or we have another immediate support around two three two three in i think we discussed about this level on saturday okay so the level of two three two three to two three three zero okay you can see this is a zone in the market so this level is also a valid support especially during the european session if you see gold coming go um coming down going down okay you can expect the buyers around this area to provide support we have a news coming up during the US session. Okay, during the US session, not a major news, but still market will be volatile. So please be careful. So before the crazy volatility, if you see gold coming down, okay, you can look for a support around 2330, 2323 area. But if it fails, then we have the support around 2300. Okay, so three supports on the chart of gold. The first support is 2330, the green line here. Okay and if the market is not crazy volatile it should provide support to the market if it fails then we have the next support around to uh two three zero zero i'm not explaining them because we have already um, discussed about these levels plenty of times i do not want to bore you again okay and then we have double two nine zero and as the market is choppy as we do not have a clear direction in the market so we can expect that if market drops also okay, we can look for some reversal trades 
And my dear friends, if you're also looking for signals on the screen like this and tired of telegram signals, then you can definitely check out Chart Prime. Chart Prime is a very powerful custom indicator that not only gives signals on the screen like this, but also takes your analysis to the next level. You can see the market oracle probe generates buy and sell signals like this and it doesn't repaint. Okay repainting is a very big problem you must be knowing it doesn't repaint so that you can also check out the performance of the indicator whether it really works or not and obviously no indicator is 100 percent accurate but if you follow proper risk management you can obviously um, can expect to make some good money apart from the market oracle pro you can also see they also have prime oscillator pro that not only marks the buy uh, sorry overbought and oversold levels on the chart but also um, it shows the divergence so if you prefer to trade on the basis of momentum then you can use the prime oscillator pro and the best part is that the prime oscillator pro also generates buy and sell signals you can see these arrows okay it also generates buy and sell signals as an oscillator they have three powerful indicators market oracle market dynamics and prime oscillator and if you want then you can also check out the tutorial space they have a long list of videos you can see this is the pricing here okay and they are also giving a seven days money back guarantee so initially you can go with the premium monthly and check out the performance and if you don't like it then obviously you can ask for the money back but i'm pretty sure that you will be loving chart prime so my dear friends, check out Chart Prime. The link is in the description. So let's look at the chart of gold again. So three support or three strong levels where we have a strong presence of buyers. And we can also see that uh, there's a red box on the screen. So the red box is 2353 to 2350. We have discussed about this box as well in our previous videos. 2353 to 2350 it's also a valid support but my dear friends if we look at the present structure of the market here we can see that there is a little bit of a pressure on the market so yes 2353 okay may not be a very strong support it means that during the us session where we have high amount of volume it may not work in that case okay you can look for a sell below 2350 try to understand my point here there is one level 235350 as support during the European session, Asian session, where we do not have much volume in the market, you can expect the market to bounce from here. Because to break any level, volume is extremely important. In absence of volume, market will not be able to break it. And during the US session, we get volatility, volume. So during the US session, there is a possibility that market may break this level and start going down. If that happens, you can look for a sell below 2350. So one level, two trading opportunities, but that depends on the volume of the market. Clear? So three full support levels and one okay semi-support that may also um okay give us a sell opportunity as well okay so these are the trading opportunities if we see market going down and the level of 2400 is still very much valid as a psychological resistance in the market and if market breaks 2400 then we can look for a buy and breakout but as we do not have much volume and volatility in the market do not be hopeful that market will be going up for a couple of hundred pips it may not happen maybe after going for 60 to 70 pips market may come down again okay so if you go for a buy at breakout try to book partial profit after 60 to 70 pips but yes market needs to big uh big not big break to for zero zero uh for us to go for a buy at breakout okay so these are the trading opportunities that i see on the chart of gold right now and right now market is the, is in the middle so the trading opportunities that are in this range are not very reliable okay so in in this type of market situation the number of trading opportunities are limited and you need to be patient enough if you lose your patience there's a high chance that you will be trapped in a bad trade okay you must be wondering that avilash you have also two lines on the middle of the chart <laughs> then yes i have drawn two lines okay actually i just drew fibo like this here and i saw that more or less market is respecting fibonacci and i too i found two levels 
so if you if you are a scalper okay if you are a scalper if you want to take some uh, quick if you're looking for some quick selling opportunities to make some 20 20 30 pips then you can look for a sell around 2387 and 2380 okay let me write it down 2380 2387 but these uh, these are high risk sell levels because uh, they are just based on FIBO here and as I have just discussed that it is better to stick to the major levels and this is not a major level. So if you are a scalper, if you have the experience, then you can look for a quick 20, 30 pips around this area. But otherwise, if you are looking for reliable trading opportunities, then obviously you should be looking for the trade that I just mentioned, the levels that I just mentioned. Again, I'm repeating overall trend may be towards the upside, overall trend may be bullish, but after this big volatile move market is sideways we do not have a clear direction so if you're a day trader if you are not in a position right now consider the market to be as a sideways market choppy market and plan your trades according and in this type of market condition you must be knowing that bias support seller resistance is the best trading strategy okay so that's all from my side my dear friends thank you so much bye bye take care press the like button